Hello everybody, it's Yami and welcome back to some more Gacha Riddles! Can I answer them or am I stupid and I have the brain of a toddler? Well, we already know the answer to that and it was definitely the second one. Anyway, if you're excited for today's video, remember to leave a like, see how many riddles you can get right, let me know in the comment section. And without further ado, let's go and test our brains, shall we? Riddle number one. Which statue is a real human? Oh, this is actually a good question. And how are we meant to know if they're a real human or not? Would it be because they need glasses, like the girl on the left? Or would it be the girl on the right because she's eating a strawberry? She's like half eating it and then put it down. I'm gonna guess it's her, the girl on the right, because she's only half eating the food and she's not finished it. And that is a very human thing, isn't it? Unlike having a pair of glasses with a broken arm. And the girl in the middle, I don't know what's going on there. It was the girl on the right. Oh yeah. Why? Because she was eating a strawberry. Look at her lips. She has some leftover food. Honestly, I didn't even notice her lips. I just noticed the food. But I'm gonna take that anyway. All right, hit me with another riddle. Who is unhappy? Is it the girl on the left who's smiling behind the mask? Or the girl on the right who's crying behind the mask? Wait a second, is this dream? Yeah, it's definitely the girl on the right. She's having a bad time. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why either of them are wearing masks, but they are. It just appears that the girl on the right is not happy about it. She is not smiling behind the mask. And the blue hair girl is smiling, even if she is wearing a mask. Maybe the blue haired girl feels more confident behind her mask, whereas the girl in the right, she didn't want to wear it anyway. Who is a bad teacher? Okay, well, both of them don't look like teachers. That's what I'm gonna say, they both look like students. The girl on the left, it says, scolding students for cheating. Which, I mean, should they be cheating? No. So should they get scolded? Yes, definitely. And then we have someone on the right and it says not teaching. They're listening to music and messaging their friends on iMessage. Honestly iconic, but probably not the place to do that. I'm gonna say she's the bad teacher. She should definitely be, you know, doing her job. Imagine if I get this wrong and it is actually the girl on the left that's a bad teacher because she's shouting at her students and you shouldn't do that either. But no, it's gotta be the girl on the right. It is. She is a teacher, but she isn't teaching her students some lessons. While the other one is a good teacher, because she's showing how to discipline her students who have cheated on exams. Riddle number four. Who is the undercover spy? Oh, this is kind of hard actually. How are you meant to tell if somebody is a spy? Nothing is sticking out to me. The guy in the back, he has a camera. And it doesn't look like he's holding it up to everyone. It kind of looks like a secret camera. So I'm just gonna go with him because honestly, I have no idea. Hopefully I'm right. They had spy cameras all over their body. Riddle number five. Sherilyn went to elementary school. Oh, I like her backpack. That's adorable. Every day, her mom gave her a hamburger for lunch. Every single day, this girl eats a burger. That's 365 burgers a year. Surely that can't be good for you, and surely that's some kind of world record. Damn, that's a lot of burgers. But it disappeared from her bag each time. Wait, she's not even getting to eat the burgers because every day somebody steals it from her. Somebody goes in her backpack like the hamburger and takes her food. That's strange, right? We need to figure out who's doing this. Sherilyn stayed hungry once again. She got angry and decided to track down the thief. The next day, she left her bag in the classroom, walked out of the door and laid low. She saw someone pulling the hamburger out of her bag, but didn't see his or her face. Sherilyn decided to ask everyone about the stolen hamburger. Rhymer says, how can you think that of me? Isn't that the same burger that she had? Like it looks exactly the same. I know burgers aren't that hard to make and it's literally just bread buns, a tomato, two cheeseburgers and some cheese, but who knows? Maybe he is the hamburger we've been looking for. This is my burger. Hmm, suspicious. I only eat salad. My dad made this burger for me. Who stole the burger? Well, it's definitely the guy on the left. It is the same hamburger. And we can't blame the person in the middle who eats salad. They don't even like burgers. 
And the guy on the right, his burger looks completely different. It was Rhymer. Sherilyn didn't have lettuce in her hamburger. She only likes it that specific way. So now we have caught the thief. That's what you get for stealing. On to the next riddle. Which girlfriend is dangerous? Um, maybe the girl who has a basket full of knives. The girl on the left looks so innocent and so cute. I love her. But the girl on the right, I don't know why she is surrounded by knives in this image. Why is her boyfriend reaching down for some more knives? Wait, what? I was wrong? How? The girl is hiding a gun inside of her bag. What? That is such a stretch. I cannot see anything. How am I meant to know that's a gun? It's literally like four pixels on the edge of the screen. Well, they're just shopping for some kitchen utensils. They might just be shopping for some kitchen utensils, but why do they need so many knives? What are they up to? Who is the traitor? Someone cheated. One of you tied my shoelaces. I was in front of you. Someone also tied my shoelaces. And it wasn't me, says the guy on the right. Who is the traitor? Who did this? Who tied the shoelaces? I don't know. How are we meant to know? If I had to pick someone, which I do, I'm gonna say it's the guy on the right because he's wearing shoes that need to be tied up. He knows how to tie laces. And I was wrong. I thought this guy was wearing boots, but no, he just took his shoelaces out of his shoes. He lied about someone tying his shoelaces. The shoes he's wearing doesn't have shoelaces. Oh, wait, why did that, why did that not compute in my brain? Literally look at his shoes. He has no laces and he's saying that someone tied his shoes. How? If there's no laces? I should have got that one just from the wording, but yeah, that was kind of a fail. Let me know if you got that riddle right in the comment section. I would be very surprised if you did. This next riddle says, who's his girlfriend? Mom, he's my boyfriend. No, he's mine. Oh my goodness. What is going on here? Why is there a daughter and a mother in love with the same guy? But also, I'm believing the mum. They have matching heart tattoos. Wait, what? I got that so wrong. I don't understand what's happening here. I'm confused and I don't think the answer to this one helps either because it says her daughter mean about BF is best friend. <laughs> My tiny brain has exploded. But I think what's happening here is the daughter is best friends with him, but the mother is dating him. The daughter is wrong, but she's also right. Because if you have a friend that's a girl, that's a girlfriend. What? I don't know. Three little girls have been kidnapped in the town. Oh my gosh, where did they go? One by one. The police assume all of them to be dead. Oh my gosh, why is this so dramatic? Soon, one more girl was kidnapped. The detective got a call from a woman. I've just seen my neighbor Stephen with a girl. What is Stephen up to? It looks like the missing girl on the news. The police came to Stephen's house with a warrant. What's the matter? He looked around and arrested Stephen at once. Why? Hmm, is it because Stephen has dolls of the girls that have gone missing? Because that's incredibly sick and twisted. But yeah, I think he knows what happened to them. It was the dolls, I was right. <laughs> Kel was killed in her own house. The detective didn't find any fingerprints or other evidence at the crime scene. But the killer left several notes all over the house. He left one in the laundry, the office, the visitor room and the entry. Try to guess my name. Each note was found in a different room. There are three family members at home at the time. The detective examined the clues and identified the name of the killer. What is it? Wait, how am I meant to guess that? Is his name Love? Yeah, it is Love. But the reason why I guess it was Love is because each room starts with a different letter. So we have L for laundry, O for office, V for visitor's room, and E for entry. So put them all together, the first letter of each word, and you get Love. Who stole someone's test papers? Oh my goodness, we have a thief! I'm not sure because they all have test papers. Like, how are we meant to know? I'm just gonna guess the girl in the middle for no reason at all. Let's see. I wasn't right! What the heck? What are the chances? She has two test papers with different names on them. Oh, I didn't even realize that because honestly, I cannot read what it says in her bag. I just thought maybe she looked a bit suspicious and I was right. Maybe I should be a detective. That's it. I'm leaving YouTube 
to take on my true calling of becoming a police detective, because that will go right. Everybody knows that's a great idea. Michaela and Mei Mei, both different and not from the same people. She was the one who stole it and hid it inside the pockets of her bag. Oh, we have two families here and it says, who is getting divorced? I'm gonna guess it's the family on the left hand side because the girl has drawn a picture of her mom and dad being sad. That is actually heartbreaking. Wait, no, I take that back. It's the family on the right. I can see the dad, he's holding some divorce papers. Ah, oh, I can't believe this, I thought they were happy. Family B is the one getting divorced. The dad and the mum filed for a divorce. Mr. Shin, a famous musician, called the police early in the morning. He said that his expensive saxophone had gone. The police immediately arrived at his place. I came home from the concert and put the instrument in the safe. Then I went to bed and soon fell asleep. I didn't even hear the maid cleaning. Oh, he's got a doggy. That is so cute. That dog doesn't look mean. It looks really cute and friendly. Sorry, she can't get used to new people. After the search, the detective came up with three suspects. He rarely invites me to his place. I couldn't steal it. Oh, that's his stepbrother. Here we have the maid. He didn't pay me well, but I would never steal his instrument. Ooh, the fact she mentioned the pay has got me raising my eyebrows. What is she up to? Is she trying to recoup the money by stealing the famous saxophone? What does this last guy have to say? He practices late at night and my baby can't sleep. Ooh, the neighbor has a motive. I feel like it's him, but I've never even seen his instrument. Who stole the saxophone? It has to be the maid or the annoyed dad neighbor. I'm gonna say it's the neighbor because imagine having somebody playing saxophone all night. That would be so annoying. Who was it? What? I can't believe this, it was the maid. What? This is crazy. The answer was the maid because the dog barks at all strangers but Mr. Shin said he hadn't heard anything. Oh true, because she can come in and out of the apartment and the dog won't bark. But if it was the neighbor or someone, the dog would have barked. She was trying to recoup that pay. If the neighbor or the stepbrother had come in, she would have barked. Who's right? I've spent 10 years here. Liar, you're a kid. Okay, so we're in a prison. Do we think this guy has spent 10 years in prison? I'm gonna say yeah. I think he has. He's got gray hair. Come on, he's old. The black haired guy is right? What? How? Where is the boy hiding? I think he's hiding behind the big box of toys on the right. Also, this family is giving Peppa Pig. I'm here for it. Yes, I was right. He hid behind the garbage can. Can you see his ears? I can, they're so cute. Which shark is real? Hmm. Two of these look fake to me. The one on the left has a price tag, but the one in the middle has an on and off switch. So obviously that's a robot. The first shark is fake because it has a price tag on its fin. And the second shark is also fake because it has a power on and off button. While the shark on the right doesn't have one, so the third shark is real. I honestly thought it meant just the one shark was fake, but it meant two. I don't know if I should give myself that. I feel like I got it right though. I knew that something was off. I actually managed to get loads of these riddles right today. If you did, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see another video from me in the meantime, you can click on one of these and I'll see you over there.